What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Valeria White. Check it back in with another video. I go by V for short, and in this video, I will be going through the list of serverless services on AWS. All right, I'm going to explain them and give you a brief overview of what they are. All right, so make sure to hit that thumbs up down below, and let's get into the video. The first service is AWS Fargate, and AWS defines Fargate as a serverless pay-as-you-go compute engine that lets you focus on building applications without having to worry about servers. You can also run and scale container workloads, create machine learning and AI training applications, and ultimately optimize cost. The second service is Amazon EventBridge. AWS defines EventBridge as a serverless event bus that allows you to build event-driven applications across AWS and existing systems. EventBridge is composed of event bus, event bridge pipes, and event bridge scheduler. They are serverless components that allow you to receive events, transform events, schedule tasks and events, and they also allow you to connect event producers to event consumers. Some of EventBridge's use cases include increasing developer agility, extending the functionality of SaaS integrations, monitoring, auditing, and scheduling applications. The third service is AWS Step Functions. AWS defines Step Functions as a visual workflow orchestrator that makes it easy to sequence multiple AWS services into business critical applications. Some of Step Functions use cases include ETL processing, automating security and IT functions, and orchestrating microservices. The fourth service is Amazon SQS. AWS defines SQS as a message queuing service enabling you to decouple and scale microservices, distributed systems, and serverless applications. Some of SQS's use cases include increasing application reliability, decoupling microservices, and processing event-driven applications at scale. The fifth service is Amazon API Gateway. AWS defines API Gateway as a fully managed service that makes it easy to create and publish APIs at scale. Some of API Gateway's benefits include efficient API development, easy monitoring, RESTful API options, and performance at any scale. The sixth service is AWS AppSync. AWS defines AppSync as a fully managed service that accelerates application development with scalable GraphQL APIs. Some of AppSync's use cases include retrieving or modifying data from multiple data sources, synchronizing data if clients are disrupted, and building real-time collaboration and chat applications. The seventh service is Amazon EFS. AWS defines EFS as a serverless elastic file system for builders that makes it easy to set up, scale, and cost-optimize highly available shared storage. Some of EFS's use cases include simplifying DevOps, modernizing application development, and enhancing content management systems. The eighth service is Amazon RDS Proxy. AWS defines RDS Proxy as a managed database proxy for Amazon Relational Database that makes applications more scalable and secure. Some of RDS Proxy's benefits include improved application performance, increased application availability, while also being fully compatible with your database. The ninth service is Amazon Aura Serverless. AWS defines Aura Serverless as a MySQL and a PostSQL relational compatible database that automatically scales based off your application needs. Some of Aura Serverless use cases include variable workloads, unpredictable workloads, and SaaS applications. The tenth service is Amazon Redshift Serverless. AWS defines Redshift Serverless as a service that makes it easy to run and scale analytics without you having to worry about your data warehouse infrastructure while only paying for what you use. Some of the benefits for Redshift Serverless is that you're able to gain insights from data in seconds. You're also able to experience consistent high performance as well as save costs so that you can stay on budget. The 11th service is Amazon Neptune Serverless. AWS defines Neptune Serverless as an on-demand, scalable graph database that automatically provides customers with enough capacity based on their application needs. Some of Neptune Serverless benefits include scaling instantly, optimizing performance for demanding workloads, and saving up to 90% on database costs. The 12th service is Amazon OpenSearch Serverless. AWS defines OpenSearch Serverless as a serverless option in Amazon OpenSearch Service, helping to deliver search and log analytics without having to provision or adjust resources. Some of the benefits of OpenSearch Serverless is that you're able to get started in seconds, scale on demand, and improve costs. The 13th service is probably one of the most popular serverless services that AWS has to offer, and that service is AWS Lambda. 
AWS defines Lambda as a serverless, event-driven compute service that lets you run code for virtually any type of application or back-end service without having to worry about managing servers or provisioning those servers. In addition to that, you can trigger Lambda from over 200 different AWS services and software as a service applications and only pay for what you use. Some of Lambda's use cases include processing data at scale, running interactive web and mobile backends, enabling powerful machine learning insights, and being able to create event-driven applications. The 14th service is Amazon SNS. AWS defines SNS as a fully managed service for both application to application and application to person communication. Some of SNS's use cases include integrating your application with first in, first out messaging, securely encrypting your notification message delivery, and being able to capture your fan out events from over 60 different AWS services. The 15th service is another serverless service that Amazon provides that is widely used amongst its customers. And that service is Amazon S3. AWS defines Amazon S3 as an object storage service designed to pretty much store and protect any amount of data. With Amazon S3, you can store your data across multiple different S3 storage classes, which can essentially help you save costs. In addition to that, you can be safe to know that your data can be protected with Amazon's unmatched security, compliance, and audit capabilities. Some of Amazon S3 use cases include building a data lake, backing and restoring critical data and being able to run cloud native applications. The 16th and final serverless service in this list is Amazon DynamoDB. AWS defines DynamoDB as a key value document database service delivering single digit millisecond performance at any scale. With DynamoDB, you can effectively secure your data with encryption at rest. You can also automatically back up and restore your data and your guaranteed reliability with an SLA up to 99.999% availability. Some of DynamoDB's use cases include developing software application, creating media metadata stores, and scaling gaming platforms. That wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes my list of serverless services that AWS provides on their platform, okay? So feel free to leave a comment down below and just kind of leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you ever use these services and let me know what you want to see next on this channel, okay? Make sure to subscribe, leave that thumbs up, and this is your boy Valerio. I'm checking out. I'm going to say peace and God bless. Oh, and one last thing. Don't forget to click on my channel and check out the other videos that I have on there. They could be of great value to you or maybe not, but check them out and see. All right. In the description box below, I have all my socials. So make sure to follow me there and I love to connect. Y'all peace out.